Hey, hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Lifestand Gamers, and welcome. So today we're looking at another amazing creation from the Steam Workshop, and this one truly blew me away when I was exploring it. Now here we have the Elon Station created by Mr. Erex, and I have to say, for the curves, the lines of this ship, they're just spot on. It's one of them designs that just makes you go... Wow, wow, and then you compare it to one of your own smaller stations and you go, mm, yeah, my station definitely needs some work. So let's have a look at the exterior to start with. So over on this side of the station, we have these six exterior type pads, each one of them numbered. You can see that we've got there. We've got a little access path that takes us over to that entrance there. Underneath, we've got these trellis beams with the cool little connectors being threaded between them. So each one of these pads is hooked up to the center of the base. So this station would be really quite usable in a survival sort of sense. Now above here, we have these curved type support arms with these blue lights. And something I noticed is when you approach the entrance or you look out, it almost looks like them sort of spotlights are just glowing out of the darkness of space. Really nice little feature there. We've also got the sign there that says, welcome to the daily trade station. Now, as we move around, you can see that they've got these flared little tips on either end of the windows just to create a little bit of effect. Really nice indeed there. You can see how the top support curves into this part of the station. On, on either side here, we've got this really cool communications array on this side. And on this side, we have ourselves the usual orange fuel storage containers. That, that's what I tend to guess they are, what players are trying to represent. And down here, we've also got some connector points there. So if these miners or other things that need to go out into this sort of local area to mine resources for the station, they can. So as we come around the side of the station, we are met with this O2 and this strange sort of blueprint. What exactly is this? Well, I believe this is representing the force field, you know, to protect the hangar below. And if we just dip inside the hangar, you'll see we've got quite a capable hangar here. Obviously, it's not going to fit ships of all sizes. You're going to have to plan your ship for this particular hangar. But it'd be good to build in here. There's enough space to get a ship off and going. You've got a little catwalk there as well that you can use to undock passengers, as well as a cargo container that's really there to quick access. a really well-thought-out survival area. If you just trim back some of these extra storage things that are here just for the sort of visual looks, you'd have a nice hangar to build from. Now, as we work our way around the back, there's that cool little communications array on the top as well as a little segment into here through the glass so as you're walking around the station you can look out into the stars and just look how this ship oh i keep saying ship it's this station curves around into this section you've got this indented area there creating some detail now this is the bit that really blew me away so hold on down here underneath is this really cool sort of underneath hanging docking bay as well i'm guessing this would be more for freight and different sort of lower, it's just a general lower entrance it's labeled as here. But as I came out into here through this entrance the first time, I was just like, wow, this feels like I'm in some sort of sci-fi movie. So they've really captured the feeling in this one. Really nice, look at this. So as we come down into this section, we are greeted with another big O2 symbol. And we've got some connectors for what I would suggest is probably a larger ship. A larger ship would have to dock down here off the side of that connector. And we've also got a connector down here as well. So these various different sort of, how, how to describe, docking areas at different points. So you can connect a lot of ships, a lot of supplies, and more importantly, do what this station's all about. And that is trading. You can see we've got some more access windows down there. Just pop into there. Some empty storage rooms, perfect for survival, giving one of your crew members a spare room or whatnot. So let's continue back around the top and we'll go inside this station. So as we've entered into one of the hangars already, I won't go into there. We'll just enter through the main entrance. Now the airlock system, of course, works very nicely here. You press that button, the door will open up. A little bit too slow for this recording. It takes a hold of about 30 seconds, I've noticed. So as we come through into this section, we have the pilot quarters on either side. I think that's the pilot quarters there. So say you got transported in, you're a trader or such and such body, your pilot can wait in here as um, the trades are going on. Now we have the battleship dock and lower flight deck that way. We also have the daily trader hub this way, so just feel how immersive this is as you enter in. You can imagine you've come to this, it's filled with other people, of course, the maximum really that hit space is kind of this probably 16, so it's, it's horrible when we talk about this and we, it's so much imagination, but I guess imagination is what helps us build these creations as well. So we've actually got the planet down there as well as the station docked around it and the moon there itself so they're just being used as project it's just a projection coming out of there 
but it does make it look really nice indeed. So there's various different points where traders can work, look at the different stocks, look at the exchange of resources and how much they're actually charging. And if we continue into this area, we have the private trade. So apparently some black market deals going on within this station, but we've not got any information on them exactly. So as we come up into there, we've got these loads of little windows, these little rooms where private trades could be going on behind the glass, two different factions, maybe trading something that they shouldn't be doing. We've also got some other little trading areas up here as well. So I think that's actually a bunk area. And this looks like some sort of office or whatnot. So really nicely laid out. And if I had the LCD modification on, that I don't because it says you don't necessarily need it, we'd have displays on there as well, rotating. So in this section, of course, we have a pool. There's nothing like having a business agreement over, is it, I hope it's a pool. Let me just double check, I'll, I'll dip into it. Yes, it looks like a pool. And over into this section, we have the now, oh, so this is like a little bit of a motel. Very nice. When I was looking through this area before, I thought this was more crew quarters, but yeah, these are little personal cryopods, so you could be selling the cryopod, uh, cryopod, the pod, cryopod for the day. And here we have the Stardust Club. We can we can only imagine what happens within the Stardust Club, but it has that very sort of uh, dodgy bar feeling with the purple lighting. We've got some of these drinks on the shelves there. Some ideas for Ryan here for our Colony Wars bar. That's how you lay out a bar right there. That's done correctly. Let's continue heading ourselves around. So in this section, we have the Deep Space Patrol. We guard you. So I guess these are like the, the place, perhaps, where you can inquire. Um, maybe some trade's not gone too well or someone's stolen your goods. And stop by there and report the crime. Over in this section, we have the meeting rooms and administration. So yeah, various meeting rooms either side. Let's see if we can um, crew quarters. Do not disturb. So there's just so much to this station. It's a little bit hard to show you all within a, a reasonable video so i really do recommend that you download the link within the steam workshop and check it out for yourself and just explore it with some friends it can be quite fun or even having a little firefight between your friends as well so as we come back up and back around we enter through this very very secure corridor up into this section so we have the administration now so administration of course can keep an eye over that section so the administration was actually what i thought the crew quarters was interesting so the bridge server room, once again, secure areas. There's a lot of security going on. We've got the server room with this really cool blue light. They've actually put some thrusters in there to look like vents sucking the well the, the hot air from the computers out. But let's have a look at the main administration room. So as you can see, there is computers, LCD panels everywhere going to giving you feedback. Maybe some CCTV as well, keeping an eye on some of them trades or maybe even using some of that CCTV to blackmail people later if they've committed some dodgy trades. But you can basically sit here and do everything from there. Very nice indeed. Let's um, let's just grab our character for a second and have a look if these buttons do anything. I don't know, they're currently wired up to empty, but they, they could be marked with corresponding controls as well. So let's have a quick pop into the cockpit. Nothing's been marked on there as of that yet as well so that was a quick look at the elon station like i said before i really recommend you download it explore it for yourself maybe you even attempt to dock one or two of your vessels with it here but it just looks like this would be an absolute amazing centerpiece um, for a survival server anyway i'd like to thank you guys for watching and i will see you next time